Japanese island marks 75th anniversary of WW2's Battle of Okinawa. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. Okinawa residents prayed for peace and remembered lost loved ones Tuesday as they marked the 75th anniversary of the end of one of WW2's deadliest battles, the Battle of Okinawa. At the ceremony held on the Japanese island to honor the more than 200,000 who died in the fighting near the war's end, Okinawa Governor Denny Tamaki said accounts of the tragedy must be remembered accurately and handed down to younger generations. We must gather our wisdom and push forward to achieve nuclear weapons ban, war renouncement, and lasting peace, Tamaki said. On sad anniversary, few to mourn the D-Day that in Normandy Okinawa was Japan's only home battleground in World War II, and the island remained under U.S. occupation for 20 years longer than the rest of Japan, until 1972. Resentment over a continued heavy presence of U.S. troops runs deep, with more than half of the roughly 50,000 U.S. troops in Japan based there under a bilateral security treaty. Many Okinawans believe the post-World War II Japan U.S. security alliance was built on their sacrifices during the war and then after Japan's 1945 surrender, when American troops confiscated Okinawan land for their bases. Okinawa has asked the central government to do more to reduce the burden from numerous U.S. military facilities, but changes have come slowly. Many Okinawans also want a revision to the Status of Forces Agreement with the United States, which gives American military personnel certain legal privileges. Veteran of D-Day, Okinawa recalls fight with PTSD as he prepares to travel back to Normandy Okinawans have suffered from American base-related crime, pollution and noise over the 75 years since the end of the war. Tamaki said. Since the end of the war, even when Okinawa was deprived of human rights and self-governance under the U.S. occupation, we have steadily walked on the path of reconstruction and development while protecting our culture and the sincerity we inherited from our ancestors. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.